here today with a hair video in today's video I decided to do a one side using the straightener and then one side using the straightener brush so I actually just got a straightener brush so this is the one that I have the one that I have is from Instyler and it's called the straight up ceramic straightening brush um, and it goes up to 450 degrees and I really wanted to try the brush um, I'm not really sure you know how good it works I don't know if it works better than my straightener or if you straighten your hair and then if you need to maybe go through it it'd be good to go over with the brush so I just want to see if I'm gonna have you know a really straight result with the brush or if I'm gonna have a better result with my straightener so one side I'm gonna be using with the straightener and then one side I'm gonna be using with the um, straightener brush so let's get right into this video so I've already went ahead and washed my hair and I blow dried it um, so that's why you see that it kind of looks like this right now so I didn't want to spend you know a lot of time on camera you know uh, blow drying my hair so I went ahead and did that and I tried to get it you know as straight as I can with the blow dryer because that's normally what I like to do um, I like to kind of blow dry the roots because that's the most part that is so hard to straighten like my hair would be straight but then my roots would be like so puffy so I try to get the roots as straight as possible when I'm blow drying my hair and of course I do use a blow dryer with a comb just because I get the most efficiency with my hair being you know as kind of more straight or on the more straight side when I use the straightener with the comb. I'm only going to be using one product um, to put in my hair today and that is my heat protecting spray which I only use one product when straightening my hair anyway just because I like for it to be flowy and I don't like a lot of product build up when I am straightening my hair so I'm going to be taking this heat protecting spray and then of course whenever I'm straightening using the straightener I'm gonna be using this comb and this and then when I'm using brush of course I'm just gonna be using this so let's go ahead and get started you guys I'm gonna do it with the straightener brush first so I'm going to have the straightener brush on this side and then this side is going to be with the straightener so I'm gonna go ahead and put this side up out of the way so that I can know that this part is not going to be getting straightened right now. Normally when I start to straighten my hair, I usually do it in sections. So I'm going to do the same thing even though I'm going to be using the brush. And I'm just going to be taking um, a small section like this. And I'm going to pin the rest of the hair up. So I'm going to get a small section like this and then put the other half up out of the way and then once I do have this small piece I'm just going to go ahead and spray it with my um, heat protectant spray and then I'm just going to grab the comb and just run it through. I know I'm not going to be using the comb but I just want to make sure to run it through that and here is my straightening brush. So I really love it because it's purple and that's my favorite color so it's so cute. Alright so then I have it here on 450 degrees and I'm just going to run it through with the first section and I think it might be best so I'm just going to get up really close and then show you guys. So take the hair and I'm just going to be going down. And then that's gonna be that piece. So it does straighten it and it is pretty hot, but it doesn't um, feel kind of as straight as you know normally it would be with my straightener. But let's go ahead and do the whole head and kind of see what it looks like after it's done. I'm just gonna be taking another piece and I'm just gonna be doing small sections kind of the whole time just because um, I don't want to do really big sections and I'm trying to see you know the most accurate way to like use it if I was you know not able to use my straightener and I would have to use um, the brush so I'm still gonna be taking these small sections let's get this one out of the way
Alright you guys, so I'm back. So I finished straightening my hair with the ceramic um, straight up straightening brush. Um, and what I actually think is that it did a you know an overall really good job even though i know that it wasn't going to get it you know exactly super straight just because it is a brush and you can't kind of clamp down on and kind of go down and direct the heat you know kind of where you want it to um but overall i feel like it really did a good job actually straightening the hair um, my hair is straight Now the only thing I would probably say is that the roots, just because um, you can't direct the heat where you want it to, now the roots aren't going to be as straight as you would like them to be. Um, like I said before, it probably would be best if your hair was probably straight and you kind of just go over it if you need to with the brush, so that's probably, you know, the best use for it. Um, but if you're just trying to, you know, lightly maybe go over it, you don't even, um, if it doesn't really matter for you to have, you know, the roots as straight, you just kind of want straight hair, you know, want your roots to be damaged or what have you um, I think it did a really good job overall now um, whenever I blow dried my hair I made sure to kind of get the roots as straight as possible during that process so that's what kind of helped um, that's why you don't see as much like puffiness up here just because I kind of did that while I was blow drying my hair um, but I'll just let you guys see kind of what it looks like Now another thing is just because you can't direct you know where that heat is going, the ends. Um, I feel like I would probably go over with my actual straightener um, the ends of my hair just because I mean they don't look horrible but they aren't as you know straight. They are kind of still frizzy at the bottom um, looking. So I think I would probably go over the straightener with that and then you know maybe like little pieces like maybe this like I don't know if I could without eh, just little pieces like that that you probably can't get you know with the brush you probably have to go through the straightener with it this is what the hair looks like um you know blow dried and then of course so this to this so i think it did you know a pretty good job um with the results so I'm just going to straighten this side with my straightener and, and then I'm going to come back and show you guys both the results and then I'll let you know which one I feel you know is best and then which side I feel is better. So I just finished straightening this side with my straightener and um, like I said before, so I could get, you know, more precise, um, you know, with the top of each piece um, without, you know, it, it having to be frizzy up here. Um, but this is this side and then of course I can do the ends a little bit better than I could on this side. And then let me just go ahead and take this side down. Alright, so this side I use with the straightener brush. And then this side is used with my straightener. So just to maybe say which one is best. Overall, I really think, I mean, both sides look good. Like there's no side that I'm just like, oh. Now I'm gonna have to go back over that side with the straightener or vice versa. So um, I really like, you know, the way that the brush worked. Um, the way that it makes my hair feel right now, it doesn't feel um, really greasy or anything like that. So I really like that. Now this side does feel a little bit greasy, um, probably just because it's being clamped down and the heat and products being compressed in. Um, so that's kind of the only thing. This one feels a little light and fluffy. Um, on this side um but i think the brush really worked really good i probably still would use my straightener but probably like the next day i would probably use the brush since my hair was already straight um because it works really good um with you know keeping the hair straight and actually straightening it you guys probably really can't tell the difference between the two um but if you were able to kind of feel it you would you you would kind of be able to kind of tell and know you know that they're both you know maybe different because they kind of don't look that different to give this 
this maybe like a one out of five i give it a four just because i really like the way that it straightens the hair it actually straightens the hair um and it gets pretty hot it automatically shuts off after kind of like a certain period of time um so that's really good also just in case you do forget to unplug it um so i give it a four um because it does it does its job so it straightens the hair all right guys well we have reached the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please be sure to give me a thumbs up go ahead and like and subscribe and i will see you guys at my next upload bye